Introducing the SPEC Web Controller, the modern way to run your test chamber remotely and connect it to the Internet of Things. If you currently have or are planning to purchase an SPEC test chamber, there are a number of things the SPEC Web Controller will allow you to do. SPEC's first web controller, developed in 2007, offered remote access through any web browser, downloaded test data, and generated email notifications, all without installing software. Today's version offers more complex capabilities, including seeing all your chambers on one screen, managing a library of test profiles, and downloading test data and generating email notifications automatically. But that's just the beginning. Actions like generating email can now be set for any chamber status. Other test applications and equipment can be integrated with chamber operation, enabling them to talk to one another. This kind of Internet of Things magic is made possible with macros and a software tool known as RESTful API. RESTful API is a standardized protocol for sharing data and commands between software applications. One example of its use would be instructing an external app to watch the chamber until the desired temperature is achieved, at which time it would activate other test equipment. It would then tell the chamber to proceed to the next step in the test program. Macros are used to trigger various actions automatically based on the chamber status, such as sending emails, downloading data, or making API calls to other devices. Here's an example of a macro in action using Philips U light bulbs that change colors based on API calls over Wi-Fi. By sending macro commands every minute, the chamber temperature can be represented by the color of the bulb. An alarm in the chamber would trigger the bulb to flash red and also send an email alert. At the end of the test, another macro can send a customized email and download test data to your server. What other uses can you imagine for the macros and API capabilities of the web controller? Both create a wide range of possibilities and are fairly easy to use. You'll find a live web controller at spec.com demo where you can give it a try.